All right, what's up guys? Today we are painting a scenic view in an office building while we talk about art, business, and getting better. It's time to get better, y'all. Okay, so the question is, if you're starting out or you don't have a lot of work, what are some ideas of how to get better or get more work? One thing is you should always be on the path of becoming an expert in whatever you do. Right, right. I agree with that. I'm actually like more of a jack of all trades, so I need to fight against that and focus on becoming an expert on a niche. Actually, it's a great time with the, you know, COVID-19 and everything. You got time now. It might seem obvious for some people, right, to just get better, but what I'm really saying is to put a label on yourself. Have you ever thought of yourself as an expert? I mean, I, I don't think of myself in a, as an expert. That's something I have to like retrain myself. Like I'm not saying to be overconfident or arrogant. I'm saying set your sights on being an expert and put in the work. I feel like a lot of people, they, they limit themselves. You gotta visualize where you wanna be in order to get there. What can we do right now to get work? There's gotta be work out there. You know, I mean, if it's not work that you're finding, you're maybe working on yourself. So for sure, donating work is always a good thing and so like now is a good time to help out a local charity a school daycare pet stores mom and pop shops just helping people in your network of friends right I don't know. Why, why do you think it's a good idea though for me at least i want to get better at something but it's hard for me to motivate to just put in work for no reason so when i'm giving work for something that's going to be used it's going to be seen then that motivates me to do it so if i'm going to do free work to get better i might as well do it for somebody right what else is, do you think is good about donating pros of donating i think i mean it gives you experience they're more fun than paid gigs because they're not really expecting much for you since it's free and then also you're meeting people in real organizations that gives you a good excuse to go network with people who have authority in a big organization. There's things that you can be working on though that might not produce money now, but it will definitely build up your business later, right? So yeah, definitely it's time to invest in yourself. Like what? Like studio work. Um, creating a series of something. Uh, people are always talking about updating like their portfolio. Now's a good time. Reading books on financial literacy. Yeah, and then looking at yourself as a business that there's a lot of foundational things that a business needs that people maybe haven't done yet. Like not from a, just a creative standpoint, it's like, you got marketing, you got branding, you got to create all that collateral. And some people maybe haven't even thought of demographics, like who are their customers? How can they expand and market towards that niche? Maybe using Google AdWords search volume tool. Like, do people even use that or know what it is? It's a great way to like explore other markets and what people are looking for. Ah, dropping gems. Just to sum this up, number one, be an expert and envision yourself as an expert. Two, donate work to get experience. And three, reinvest in yourself right now while you got downtime. All right, folks, I think that's all we got for now. Uh, leave a comment. We'd love to hear how you guys are doing with the lockdown, how you guys are building your brand right now, and what you guys are getting better at during this uh, downtime. So like and subscribe, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha.